Giro della Emilia Femminile is coming into the bottom of the San Luca climb. Bit of a lame race, to be honest, for the women's because it was like 90k long and they only did one climb. So it's very much a puncher's race and not as much of a pure climbers race. Movistar lead onto the bottom. You can see the profile on the right hand side of the screen, pan flat. And the San Luca climb, which is like 2k at 11%-ish, but it's always super, super quick. Balsamo has done a turn at the bombs, peeling off on the left hand side of the road. And you've got um, Sheila Gutierrez, I'm pretty sure, riding strong for Movistar, setting the pace. That at the foot of the climb, everyone sort of found out no one really wanted to take it up. There was no sort of full lead out, which was strange, but, you know, fair enough. Everyone was a bit hesitant. No one wants to take it on. We then go through the, uh, I think, what's known as the, the Pantani uh, slopes. And to be honest, I was surprised. Like, this was a big shift from Veronica Uwes. Like, I thought she, at this point, had won it. <laughs> I was just like, she has nuked them big time. And, like, the speed she's going up at, like, especially this bit here, I was like, wow, uh, no one is coming back. But to be honest... People did. Um, I think maybe she just got a bit too excited too early on. Um, and Sofia Bertizzolo for UAE uh, comes across. Elisa Longo Borghini again decides that this is the time. These are the people she needs to follow. And the planter Pura rider um, is Yara Castellana, I think, um, who's also looking strong in like fourth wheel. But Longo Borghini now just gets in the front and she just drives it. And I, I just couldn't believe it. She was just out the saddle such a long period of time just absolutely drilling it and you can see she's making a big gap like i think this bit showed to me she's definitely the strongest climber at this part because she was just out of the saddle and you can see like at this point yeah fair enough she gets down the saddle but she then flicks her through shelly gutierrez does um sorry bertazola does some turns but they didn't really go hard enough and uh ewers gets back on there's now a group of three of them and, and if you know this climb it gets pretty flat like i said five six percent in the men's same with the women's. It's not, it's not super steep. So it really suits someone who's got the big punch. And to be honest, for like uh, Veronica Ewers, I mean, obviously she was battered, but they all should have just tried to attack straight away because Longa Borghini's got big, big punch. So if you let her go to the line, big issues. And like here, I don't know what they're all doing. Like surely, you know, Longa Borghini's got the gas. You just say, it's your race to lose. I'm not doing anything. Instead, they just set like a hardish tempo. You can see in the big ring, uh, Longa Borghini, she knows what's up. She knows she's going to absolutely nuke it. And, um, you know, it was quite a simple climb in some ways when you're the strongest. Like, you just make the big move on the steep part. People come across. They set you up like this. We're getting towards maybe 200 to 300 metres to go now. Um, you can see the pace is starting to go up a little bit. Um, Planta Pro Rider is getting dispatched. And then Lisa Longo Borghini is looking. And then she says, cheerio, I'm off. And it's like, nah, no one's close. Like, she was obviously so, so fresh in the wheel. And like, it's like, just, it's when people look right back straight away, that's when, you know, they're not even thinking, oh, maybe I'll be able to catch her. It's like, nah, is there anyone behind me? Because I don't want to do any more work. And she just like destroys them. Like, it's an unbelievable performance. It's a million times better. Like, that is absolute destruction. Um, you know, you've seen it on this finish a lot. If you're the strongest rider and you've got a big kit, you can make people look silly. And that is that exactly what Lisa Longo Borghini has done. Uh, in the Jira uh, Amelia Feminile. So anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick video and I'll see you in the next one.